What is up, guys? This is Real American Studios, and welcome to another anime review. And let me tell you, I'm really excited about this. Um, first off, I'm going to go ahead and uh, announce my new schedule. So, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Whatever Let's Play I'm doing at the time, those are going to be those upload days. So, stay tuned for that. Tuesdays are now going to be the anime review days. Thursdays, I'm going to do like on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, I'm going to ask you guys to put in the comments what like what things I should do on Thursday. I might put at it on Twitter, Discord, what video ideas I should do for every Thursday. Now, Fridays are, you know, obviously there's going to be, uh, obviously there's going to be my Let's Play upload. But also, you know, like, at least once, maybe twice a week, I'm going to try to stream. Saturdays, are, I'm going to do some kind of top ten list, some kind of favorite list. And Sundays, like, right now it's undecided. It's up in the air a little bit. So, if you guys could give me suggestions, I might just do another anime review day there. But with that being said... Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and join my Discord. All are linked in the description below. And also, um, as I will slide over casually to kind of center myself into my face cam. Look at that, that's perfect. Uh, almost. But definitely make sure to uh, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And if you enjoy these, like hitting that like button, leaving comments. That's really going to get me to know that you guys want this. Because after Pokemon Advance, which there's a lot of that, uh, I might try to do like Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1 and stuff like that. So just stay tuned for that. But with that being said, let us get in to the anime review. Episode 3, There's No Place Like Hoenn. I actually have to go back to the beginning. So they've reached Petalburg City. Looks a lot, a lot bigger than it usually does in the game. Actually, in the games they call it Petalburg City. Can you really consider that a city that just looks like a small town? To be honest. But whatever. The first gym. First gym. Big Fat Rush instead of Big Time Rush, it's Big Fat Rush now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I think it was like a show on Nickelodeon. No. Alright, so, we've obviously got to skip this. There's no place like Hoenn. Remember that, no place like Hoenn. Really, May? Really, May? So, Petalburg City's a big, a big gym, right? Oh, crap, it's the fifth gym, and your father's the gym leader there. Obviously, you don't want him to know that, but... Uh, what the heck is... Of course you know him. See, I gotta put on my makeup and all that. Okay. See ya. Here we are at the Petalburg Gym. You ready kind of looks familiar. It looks like a oh yeah, the Rock Gym. Rock's gym and uh Gen One. Of course. Seems legit. Hey, and that's your Pikachu. Hi there, Pikachu. 
you see, Ash, uh, Max is actually kind of making sense because Blaziken's part fighting type, and according to the actual game, like flying type moves are super effective against fighting type moves. Charizard has to know at least one flying type move, right? Wing attack, fly, aerial ace, something. Probably not aerial ace. Sorry, sorry, my, my freaking leg is like, I don't know what it's doing. Some kind of spasm or something, I don't know. This is what happens at one o'clock in the morning. No deal, Max. You go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. I don't want it to seem like I'm actually making fun of a. I don't want it to seem like I'm making fun of the anime. I'm really not. But it's just watching that back so many years later. It's just kind of funny. Norman. Carol. So, wait a minute. playing games. Pikachu electrocuted it now. Ash has to pay me back. See, I'm going to be honest. So Norman's a gym leader. I wonder if like, uh, so I wonder if gym leaders, like, they, I wonder if they get paid like, almost like government officials in Pokemon. Because you never see like a government. So what if the gym leaders and the Elite Four and the Elite Four's champion are actually like the governing officials? Yeah, Trico is a lot cooler, but okay, Torchic. That's kind of funny. Trico is awesome, but Torchic would destroy your Trico. You know what I'm Y'all turn on each other, or y'all get lost, y'all eventually eat each other, and when it comes to that point, like, it's just time to give up. Of course, Ash. So, how many badges have you earned so far? This will be the first one. So, you're just getting started. Yes. What are the Petalburg Gym rules? I told you already, it's a three-on-three -three elimination, remember? Excuse me, is that really true? Yes. Uh Start off right from the beginning and use only those 
can actually press my beard up. Wait a minute. So let's think about this. So if Ash has come through two whole generations with Pikachu, that thing should be like level 100 by now. Pikachu should be sweeping everything. If the anime made sense. Okay, uh, Max is just. I'm gonna be honest, this kid's just so annoying at the beginning. Too strong for Pikachu. Apparently, even though Pikachu's level 100, it's like level 28, it still destroys Pikachu. Vigoroth just looks cool. Pikachu, Pikachu, definitely cheering for Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu's daily. God slash. He really did, though. I wonder if, I, if that one's on here, because I'd definitely react to that one as well. My glasses are... You look such a nerd. Of course, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. Right. the anime doesn't actually pay attention to anime. I don't know what this episode is. And I don't mean of the anime. Torchic's dead, too late. You suck, man. Now, 
No, he, he's just smoking. Like, he, he, he's literally halfway on fire for no reason at all. It's definitely not because of some electrical boat hit, bolt hitting him. Torchic, nice. Worst. They, all right. They do this for a living, right? Like they literally do crime for a living. Can't tell which Pokemon they actually take. That's a Cleffa. Cleffa is trash. Psych. Yeah, that definitely sounds like a Pikachu, doesn't it? Especially with that hair. It's like you got a dang Snorlax on your uh, head. It's like you got a dang Munchlax on your head. He's not messing around. Just catch a Pokemon. Loser. What's a hole doing there? It's not like they're bad guys who just do that. is just smarter than them all. Raw. Raw 
Golf is a boss. Ooh, boy. Really, man. Or really, James. Interesting, James. Oh no. Oh crap, there goes copyright. La la. La la. La la. I guess it's time for you two to get going. Do you have everything? Yeah. That's pretty much the episode, so. Since you don't know anything about Pokemon, I should go too. Psych. Your brother does know a lot about. Parents of the year out there. A badge case to hold. A badge case? What a present! Actually, that would be a really nice present, though. It's a nice gesture, Norman. Nice, nice gesture. I don't know what this, uh, what this episode is. At least from the reaction standpoint. It's a Pokenhouse. They're finally trying to somewhat play off of anime. I suggest that you first travel to the closest gym from here and that's located in Rustboro City. Rustboro okay. City. Okay. Rustboro is my city. You do your best. You got it. We will. Bye. Hurry up. We're coming right behind you. And now. So, yeah, that's pretty much the episode. That, well, hold on. Okay. Oh, oh. So this actually shows you like the people that play. <laughs> the lady that plays me out is just, I'm not gonna lie. She, oh. She's just funny looking. But who the heck is Mutashi, Musashi, and Nyarth? So they literally have, like, yeah, they got voice actors for everything. But guys, uh, with that being said, that's going to do it for the video. You'll see this on Tuesday. Real American Studios up. Peace out on my homies.